Hey guys, Dynasty Warrior 6 here again with another Game Finds video. Uh, this Game Finds is uh, relatively fairly decent. I got two bundles, um, both all Nintendo 64. So both bundles were Nintendo 64. Uh, it did come with uh, consoles, and I will start with the first bundle, and then we'll work to the second one. Now the first one, of course, did come with a console. I'll just show the console real quick. Boom, and it came with all the control. It came with two controllers, all the hookups, and three games for a grand total price of $60. So we'll start off with the games. Now there's only three games, so nothing a major, but definitely solid finds, and I'm very happy with these games. Uh, now two of them I will sell at Portland Retro. One of them I don't count on selling, but the other one I certainly do. Uh, the one I'm not counting on selling is Ken Griffey Jr.'s Slugfest, of course. Uh, but then next up, uh, this one I will be selling at Portland Retro, and it's a must-have if you're a 64 guy. Uh, Star Fox 64. And the last game that came in this bundle, which is one of my favorite games back on the N64 days, was is Gauntlet Legends. Great shape, you know, good looking, good looking card. But yeah, Gauntlet Legends, N64. So, and that was sixty dollars for that those three plus the console and all the controllers and everything like that. And then I got another bundle of N64 for a hundred dollars. Now this one was a hundred. But now the N64 came with two controllers, all the hookups, and it came with an expansion pack. I didn't know about the expansion pack in the N64 console. So I'm very happy to add that one in. And it, you know, and it actually, funny enough, oh my gosh, I don't believe it. They actually included the jumper pack as well. So I got the jumper pack and the expansion pack. And this bundle was only $100. And you know, those ex these expansion packs right now, they're, they're getting pricey. I've seen these things going for hardcore level pricing. Now the N64 consoles I'll probably be selling at Portland Retro. I'll be taking the expansion pack out of the current one, the, 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 that one, and putting it in another one of, of mine because I actually don't have an expansion pack. But I'll put the jumper pack back into it to sell. So the, the N64s, I'll probably be selling them at like $40 a console with two controllers and all the hookups. So let's get out of the games though. Because that's what everyone wants, you know, that's what everyone cares about. Realistically, let's, be, let's just be real. So anyways, uh, um, all these games, like seven games for $100 for the console, you know, for everything. So first game, Madden 64. Second game is WCW versus NWO World Tour. Third game is Pilot Wings 64. I'll definitely be keeping this one. Next up that I will be selling, <coughs> excuse me, at Portland Retro, Yoshi Story, clean label, very clean. Next up that I will sell at Portland Retro, Diddy Kong Racing. Next up that I will sell at Portland Retro, Super Mario 64. And the last game, and this is the one I'm definitely keeping, uh, this is the one I was definitely excited getting in this big bundle with, for $100. What, and it, I was very happy adding this in, was Super Smash Brothers. Very clean, very crisp, very nice, very happy to add in Super Smash Brothers. So, I got all that for $100. Uh, a decent chunk, like more than half of the games, I'll be most likely selling at Portland Retro. I, I don't count on selling Madden 64, and I might, might get lucky with WCW, NWO World Tour. Doubtful, though. But the rest, I... I have good feelings about the rest of them. So that was about it, guys. Um, you know, a lot of consoles, a lot more stuff rolled in. It's just uh, more stuff I added to my collection and more stuff I can uh, potentially sell at Portland Retro at bro pricing. Because I'm going to do my best to give bro pricing. You know, I don't want to give, you know, like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm out to make a profit. Like, I'm out to make a little money, yes. And, I, you know, I, I don't want to lose money on the deal, but I'm definitely going to do my best to give bro pricing and be really willing to negotiate. So, there is that. Um, I'm still hunting, but I do got news. I am actually going on vacation this year. I will be leaving in May, like May 1st, to go to Las Vegas. I'm going to Las Vegas for about a week. I'm staying at the uh, Luxor Hotel uh, the first week of May. So the first week of May, I'll be in Vegas, and I'm very excited to go. It's my first vacation in a really long time because I haven't been on vacation in a very long time. 
So I'm very happy to go on vacation and finally take a breather and break from everything. Uh, I'm looking forward to, just to touring, you know, Vegas, you know, just kind of just chilling. And I'm also going to still look for video games and at the Goodwills in Las Vegas. I'll see how their pricing is and what's going on there. You never know, you know. So looking forward to it. And that's about my, that's my big news currently. Um, I'm going to take a breather from retro collecting for right now. Like for this month of April, because I'm like this was like my two big purchases, like both of these. So for right now, I'm gonna be taking a breather so I can focus my money on the Las Vegas trip, and then when I get back and I recover a little bit financially, just a little bit, I'll be able to you know refocus on retro collecting again. So just taking you know just gonna be fun, taking it easy, having a blast, and just take you know just having a great time. So. I'm definitely looking forward to Portland Retro. We still have like six, seven months till it actually occurs though. So I have a long time before, you know, Portland Retro to stock up on games. I've already got a good chunk though. Uh, I already got a lot of stuff to potentially sell, you know, and I got a lot of consoles that I'll be selling at like, most of the consoles I'll be selling at $40 a pop, you know, Super Nintendo and N64. I'm selling the consoles at $40 a pop, and they'll at least usually come with one to two controllers and all the hookups and everything. So I'm very excited to, to do that and sell that, you know, do that and, and be a vendor this year, really. Just be a vendor. So very exciting, very exciting things. So other than that, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I will definitely see you guys later.